Hello, beautiful family. How are you all doing? Thank you so dearly for always supporting me in this particular channel. I really do appreciate if the first time you are coming across this channel or you are seeing my face for the first time, I still remain the one and only Agatha Progress bringing it to you live and direct. Remember, in this channel, we react to all videos and your opinion is highly needed. So just sit back and enjoy this video and I will be right back. Continue just like the way that I'm, I gave them the idea how to end money ritual. Just like the way I gave them the idea how to end money ritual, this idea I am bringing now is the idea that will bring us Biafra and release everybody that has been incarcerated in DSS dungeon. The idea is that as they are attacking and killing our women and children, just because you can't kill them back because you don't have all it takes you don't have all the weapons that so go with everything you have go to where the oil is and make sure you reduce it to pieces and let them begin to fix it before they finish fixing it you go back there again bring it down as they are fixing it you go back there let your energy let everything you have now be channeled to the economy grounding the economy which is the oil because we don't have you see the other day they said they are bringing two thousand soldiers to come and kill us and those two thousand those those two thousand soldiers they come with uh, probably how many uh how many gunboat or healers nobody know you know do you have healers we don't have healers we don't have machine gun we don't have a gunboat, okay? <laughs> we don't have all those things. So what do you do? Anything you have, take it to the oil. Once the biggest pipeline goes down, boa, you have won those 2,000 soldiers. Because the money they used to sponsor them is coming from the oil. So that this Europe that is pre pretending that they are not seeing what we are crying every day, they will begin to talk. So that those who have business interests in our land will know that we are at war. Not the war of a, of a chaotic war where they will come secretly and you'll be hearing although uh, is under attack. If it is under attack, uh, also is under attack. No. The level have changed. The time for those kind of things have passed. We don't go into Olu is under attack. Um, uh, the, NASA is, the NASA is under attack. Uh, the military, they are coming to... No, 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 no. no. Take the war to the economy where they get the money. And we, our demand is that, first of all, before we do anything, before we listen to anybody, those military men that they have now besieged and let siege on our land must be pulled out. They have to pull the military out of our land before we can talk, before we can, we are ready to talk to anybody. So the idea I am giving you now is the best idea how to get Biafra, how to get Mazinam the Kano out is to make sure that the cost of keeping him is higher than the cost of releasing him. How does the cost of releasing Mazinam the Kano will be higher? It's because of this. And let me tell you, it has nothing to do with Mazin Namdekano. Mazin Namdekano is not ordering it. And we have made it very clear. This is, a, this is going to be a consensus by the entire Biafra people. So it is not Mazin Namdekano. Mazin Namdekano is there. And we are not taking order from him. We have made it very clear. If they want us to take order from Mazin Namdekano and they want Mazin Namdekano to come and say stop, they should release him where he can talk. Not uh, staying in the DSS dungeon and talk to us. We don't know who is talking. In fact, we don't trust anybody anymore. When it comes to Biafra, we don't trust nobody. We don't trust the lawyers. We don't trust nobody. But when it comes to the legal issue, we trust the lawyer. Because that is their job. But when it comes to anything message coming that relates to Biafra struggle, we don't trust nobody. Don't trust me. So before you say tomorrow now, you, they say, okay. He said, don't trust the lawyer. Don't trust me. I trust myself. Okay, we don't trust anybody. The only thing we will trust is your action. The only thing we will trust is what you do, what you say. The only thing we are going to trust is your own action that we see. We don't trust anything that you did not do. We don't trust anything that you did not say. We don't trust your body language. We trust the thing that comes out of your mouth. We trust what you say. We trust what you do. 
And the, on in this particular struggle, the, you know, it is not struggle anymore because we have gone over that, that stage. We are now in liberation. So in this liberation, anything that has to do with Biafra, we don't trust nobody. Nobody should give us message from, from DSS Dungeon. If the message has to do with the legal issues like today, they deny the, the, the lawyer's access, yes, we are going to accept it. If the, if the message has to do with information regarding the court proceeding, we are going to accept it. But if any message that is coming regarding the struggle for Biafra, what we should do and what we should not do, we will not accept it. We will not accept it. The reason why you see that they are going to be, they will be, you know, insulting our lawyers is because we have not taken a decisive uh, measures and actions. We have not taken that. They don't know how, they, you know, you, they need to know how serious we are. So my Biafra people, if you want your freedom to come, if you want your freedom to come, if you want the international community to talk about you, that you are also a human being, that you are not even aliens that talk about it. Even animals have rights in Europe. Even animals are well respected. They have rights. That is what we call the animal right in Europe. So you are a human being like those in Europe. And because nobody is listening and talking about the way you are being butchered every day, let us begin to open this movie for them to watch. And you don't waste your time by, you know, uh, making noise. You don't waste your time by, you know, it is not just a bubago. A bubago is, a bubago is declared wanted. Any a bubago you see is our enemy. So, but let us channel our energy to make sure we speak in a language the Nigeria and the entire international community will understand. I think that the Nigeria government need to look into some issues in southeast part of Nigeria. Enough is enough so that people can have their peace and people will be happy for what they are doing and who they are. Not that being threatened and living under a cage as if they are nobody, no. The Nigerian government needs to look into some issues. And again, we don't really know why the international body, they are quiet over this. They just have to do something. This is Simon Ekpa bringing it to us live and direct. I give credit to Simon Ekpa. He is doing a great job. And we appreciate him for that. I still remain at Gata Progress, bringing it to you back to back. My word. That brings us to the end of this beautiful update. Do wait to like this video, share and subscribe. The best thing for you to do is to join this family by smashing on that red subscribe button that says subscribe and turn on the bell icon for more latest updates. See you when I see you. From me to you, I say bye.